On the News 19 bookshelf this morning, Weirdo by award-winning writer and social media star Tony Weaver Jr. Yeah, the middle grade graphic novel memoirs out today in stores and online, tackling the pressing issue of mental health head on and empowering kids to navigate the online world with confidence. And joining us this morning to talk more about his new book and the issue at hand is author of Weirdo, Tony Weaver Jr. Tony, thanks for being with us. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. And for those who are interested, tell us a bit more about this graphic memoir. I love the concept of the book. I was flipping through the pages. It looks so cool. Well, thank you. I call Weirdo the nerdy kids instruction manual for self-love and self-confidence. There are a lot of conversations happening around the country about mental health right now, and I think we all agree that kids need to love themselves, but nobody really gives them an instruction manual on how to do that. How do I develop positive self-image and love for who I am when I don't know who that is yet? How do I respond to people that are treating me negatively when I haven't built up my self-confidence? Weirdo was kind of meant to answer all of these questions and give kids a helping hand as they navigate their personal self-love journeys. You know, as a kid that was called a weirdo, it can be a painful thing, yet you were able to turn the label on its head and make it a meaningful thing for many kids who also felt a little different. Where did that idea come from, and how can that self-labeling help other teens? Uh, well, my experience was very similar to yours. I, too, had to be told that I was the weird kid. I thought I was going to be cool. I thought I was going to be popular. Uh, but I found out very early on that I was actually the weird kid. And at first, I thought it was a bad thing. But the things that make us weird uh, are the special tools that we have to change the world in ways that only we can. And the sooner I realized that, uh, the sooner it was possible for me to be happy uh, and to live my life with confidence. And I think the goal is for kids to understand that early. It's OK to be weird. It's okay to be different. Uh, the things that make you different are the things that are going to allow you to impact your community, uh, to make good friends, and also to pursue your dreams. You tackle some pretty uh, substantial mental health issues in your memoir, including yeah. depression, self-worth, suicide. So how serious were your mental health challenges growing up? Well, with Weirdo being a memoir, I can say that all of the difficult experiences that are covered in the book are, are things that I personally experience. And as a suicide survivor, I think it's really important to uh, make sure that kids know that they're not alone when they're dealing with those problems. Uh, something that's very insidious about mental health trouble is that a lot of times kids feel like they're alone, like they're the only people that are dealing with these issues. But there's always a light on the other side, and there's already and there's always a community ready to help you with open arms. Uh, and that's ultimately what I hope kids walk away from Weirdo with. You're giving me chills right now. And now you were the first comic writer ever selected for the Forbes Under 30 Honors. And now you have a large social media following and run an educational company, Weird Enough Productions. How important is it to you to continue your message of self-acceptance? Uh, I feel like it's my purpose. Uh, every day uh, when, when I show up for work, when I put pen to paper to write, what I ask myself is, can this story help someone? How can this story help someone be their better self? How can this story help someone that's in the dark right now? Uh, and I, I feel like that's my purpose. That's that's what I'm walking in, and that's what I try to do with everything that I write. Uh, one of my mentors, Jason Reynolds, calls Weirdo a blinding light of a tale. Uh, and to me, that is what stories are intended to be, uh, a light for their readers, a, a light for people that are struggling. And it's my hope that as it pops up in bookstores across the country, the kids that need that light that are, that are in the dark will find it. Well, Tony, I could say with the growth of technology and the uh, massive social media influence out there, we know that the world needs a book like this. So it's awesome that you were uh, very, you know, willing to write a memoir such as this and, and share your experience with others. Where can they go and grab a copy and, and of course, keep up with you? Uh, so I'm at Tony Weaver Jr. on all platforms, uh, and Weirdo is in bookstores around the country. It's at Barnes & Noble. It's on Amazon. It's at your local bookstore. What I would say is if you go to a bookstore and they don't have Weirdo, we need to ask some questions. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? Where's, where's Weirdo? we got to make that happen. Um, and on social media, I'm also highlighting some of the places where I'm going on tour uh, and popping up and talking to people. Uh, but it, it's, it's everywhere. Well, we hope to see you in Huntsville at some point in the future. Oh, yeah. The kiddos need you. Please Very keep doing so. what you're doing. Thanks, Tony. Thank you so much. Come back anytime.